Hey there, crazy kids! I am the good old gamer, and we're back to play more Jade Empire. Doopy doo doopy doo doopy doo doo. All right, we pretty much got everything done. I believe we can do for now, Zs. So basically, um, I guess what we get to do now is talk to Gal the Lesser, and then uh, Master Lee. So let's go talk to you, Gal. What do you have to say? Gow. Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. Yep, pretty much. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. Uh, why didn't you have your men help? I found them drunk after the, after the attack. They deserved a chance to celebrate, in my opinion, so I left them with a few silvers with which to enjoy themselves. They took down a bandit who dared try to circle around me. That's the kind of support I need. Men who watch my back, but don't get in my way. Besides, what's a few bandits to one of my skill? Hardly worth the time. They were a threat to the villagers. I was happy to help. So you are at their beck and call? A service animal for those too weak to protect themselves. That's an endless foolish road to go down. There are always victims. Always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone would be begging for your help. Hmm. The weak today may be strong tomorrow. I invest so I may reap. I see how you might think that's valuable, but are these mud farmers worth the effort? I don't think so. All I care about is my ability and what I want. The cares of everyone else are not my concern. Obviously. You'll soon see what I am capable of. Now go talk to your precious master. He will not resume our training until he has met with you. Lovely. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Gao. Not really, but still. Uh, Master Lee, tell me stuff and things. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the spirit cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. <laughs> I am so tempted to say that, but I won't. No one is denying your skill, Gao. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him. If that is what you wish, I will accept. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? 
My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. I want to ask about this cave and the bandit leader. I will explain what I can after we have dealt with Gao's interruption. I don't want to confuse matters. Trust that I am right. I'll return when I'm ready, Master. Remember the basics. They will serve you well. Save! I don't know how good this challenge is gonna go, so I'm better saved. Gao awaits your signal to start the challenge, my student. Tell me when you are ready, and I will have the combat ring prepared. I am ready now. Let's begin. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Hey, you say a lot of crap. Fighters, begin! Legendary Heavenly Wage! <laughs> Legendary strike. That was a lot of jumping around. <laughs> it is done. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. No! I'm not finished! Gao, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Haha, ha, sucks Everyone, for you. This challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change.
That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. Master Li does a lot of confusing things. Yes, yes, he does. I didn't want to say, but, well, I guess that's why we aren't the master and he is. He must be thinking of bigger things. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. You should speak with Master Lee. He will want you to enter the spirit cave soon. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um I suppose I should talk to people. Gao gets very angry when Master Li d Gao is a fool to cheat. Our teacher is a kind man, but he is not soft and doesn't tolerate that kind of thing. You'll face worse things than Gao in the cavern if what I've heard is right. I hope you're ready. What do you need from me? Uh, do you know anything about the cavern beneath the school? No one really knows anything about that cavern, except that Master Li has strictly forbidden us to go in there. He has always said that it is a place of final testing. I hear whispered rumors that there's something horrible down there. I even asked around town, and there's old, old stories of masters before ours sending students into that cavern, and the students never finding their way out. Do you know what this horrible thing is supposed to be? I don't have a clue, but I don't envy you having to go down there. Then again, you are the strongest of us, as we're so often reminded, so you'll be fine. Where did you learn about the cavern? This is all rumor, mostly gossip from the people in Two Rivers. As I said, no one really knows what's down there. Well, no one but you, once you tell Master Lee you're ready. Goodbye. Leaving so soon? Oh well. Back to my training. Master Lee once asked me not to use the style I learned in the Imperial City. It was a fair request, so I agreed. Gao should have known better than to use a forbidden style. What can I do to help you? Uh, do you know anything about the cavern beneath the school? I haven't been here long enough to hear anything but rumors. Everyone prefers not to think about that place. I certainly don't envy you for having to go down there. Great. Well, everybody just loves this idea. Bye. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. This day has been full for you, and you still have the cavern to face. If you listen to Lin parroting the villagers' stories, that place has a dark past, but I'm sure Master Lee wouldn't send you into unreasonable danger. What can I do for you? Uh, he sent me into a fight with a guy that was trying to throw fireballs at me. I'd say he doesn't know what reasonable danger is. Anyways, <laughs> uh, that's it. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. Um, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Gal was a fool for challenging you. Oh, he's good, but you've always been stronger. He just wouldn't admit it to himself. Thing is, your prize is going into the cavern beneath the school. To hear Lin tell it, that place is going to challenge even you. Lovely. What do you know about the cavern? Next to nothing. I know Master Lee forbids us to go in there until our final test, but that's about the only fact I have. I hate repeating stories that aren't my own. Lin has no such qualms, so go ask her about the cavern. Okay. Gao's actions were foolish. He knew he could not beat you fairly, and so he chose to catch you by surprise. 
Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Been there, done that. Um. Ah, yes. The lesson. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything. I only have this. I could buy all of these. But I do want to be able to give that, um. I do want to be able to give that villager guy eventually his money back. And I believe that was 200. I could get more money in the cave, I believe. So, um. I guess I will. Now, nah, wait. Because I think I'll be able to get more money in the cave. Before I go to the cave of awesome, I want to go heal up. I don't remember if I would automatically get healed up by taking on that quest or not, so I'm going to go do that now. Dun 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 I have not been here that long, but even I know that Gao the Lesser despises you. You certainly taught him a lesson. I just hope that you will be all right in the cavern. Master Lee has forbidden anyone else to go in there, and Student Lin says that place is dangerous. That's great. Goodbye. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. I know where he is. Thank you. Yay! Dun 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 Save again. Ah, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Uh, yes, Master. I am ready. Wait outside, Gao. I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. Um... Does it have something to do with the bandit assassin? You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. Master, you've never said anything about this. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within. That includes you and me both. Why hide that you are the Emperor's brother? I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, 
also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care. Your people were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. Uh, who is this death's hand? He is the right hand of the emperor and rules the Lotus Assassins in place of Prince Sun Kin, who was killed at Dirge, a death he may have orchestrated. He shows no hesitation, and gave no thought to the lives of those we faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. I have no doubt he is utterly evil. I have never faced him, but I know of no one living who has. A dark energy sustains him. That is the armor of a man who has no remorse, no pity. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Can you tell me anything about my people? Most in the Empire know nothing of the land of howling spirits. I found its people to be honorable, but I can't tell you more than that. There was no time to learn more. How many brothers are in the Emperor's family? There were three. Emperor Sun Hai, Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, and myself, Sun Li, the Glorious Strategist. Age decided our place in the order of things. Sun Hai was the eldest and therefore Emperor. I was next and was head of the army. Sun Kin was the youngest and leader of the monastic order. When you say the world may join you in being haunted, what do you mean? Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what. It is tied to your destiny. I will explain if you want me to move on. Yes, let's move on. Tell me what this has to do with my destiny. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. Why haven't I witnessed this? 
We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The spirit cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only you are meant to understand what is within. You will see the corruption of the spirit realm for yourself. Um, is it safe? Wink, wink. No, but few places truly are. This has been a lot to comprehend, so take your time. There are instructions inside, and something that belongs to you. An amulet. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain. And you will better know your enemy. Oh, the game is saving. Well, that is a lovely, fantastic sign right there. Uh-huh. Not. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's going to do it for now. This has been an interesting video so far. So, in the next video, we will explore the spirit cave, cavern, whatever. See if we can find this amulet. Learn more about the history of our character and the, how we tie into the storyline and all this lovely jazz. Anyways, let's make a permanent save of our own. And that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I am the Good Old Gamer. This has been more Jade Empire. Bye-bye for now.